What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nickens Line of Landscape. In today's video, we're gonna be talking leaf removal. Got some really cool machines behind us. We got a couple different uh, stand-on blowers, and I wanna go over those and show you guys what's available out there, and just talk a little bit about leaf removal in general, and uh, kind of the best ways to do it, and the most efficient ways to do it. And of course, like everything else, that changes every single day. But today, it's going into the 2019-2020 leaf removal season and uh, like I said I got some couple uh, got a couple really cool machines behind me and I want to show you guys those and just do a quick debrief walk around and uh, like I said show you guys what's available all right ladies and gentlemen the first tent we're gonna check out is gonna be the billy goat tent we're walking over here now um, they've got some of your traditional leaf removal equipment they got the uh, push behind blower or the walk behind blower and then they've also got a stand on blower over here which is Kind of new to the market, somewhat new to the market. We've got a few of those that uh, we're gonna go over with you today. And they've also got the walk behind vac, which may be really nice for a residential guy. So let's jump in here and uh, talk about a few of the different kinds of leaf removal pieces of equipment. All right guys, so we're gonna start here with the Billy Goat self-propelled walk behind vacuum. Uh, this one would be nice for your smaller areas, maybe if you have like a courtyard, something like that, or for the residential homeowner that's just looking to keep their yard uh, in tip top shape. For the commercial guy, this may get a little bit slower and that's where these next ones come in, but for your small areas, your tight areas, or for your residential guy, this is a home run and it is self-propelled, so you can take the effort out of that. This one here is a self-propelled blower. This is actually, uh, they make a few walk-behind versions too. There's quite a few different engine options on this one, but these are really, really nice. We own one of these ourselves. Um, you got a few controls up here. This one here on your right, controls the discharge of your air which is really nice being able to pick where you want that to be so you can definitely uh, adjust that and use that to your advantage when you're out there on the job and this one being self-propelled you've got some more levers over here I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, how this one works but it's something something with your drive there it goes it goes down and that would be uh, your speed I guess is it the further you push it down the, the faster she goes okay so this is kind of like your throttle right here, which is really nice, makes everything uh, super simple, easy, and I would, I would say probably almost anyone could operate this one. Uh, and then this one isn't enough for you, then you can step over here to the big boy. This is the stand-on blower. This one is powered by your Vanguard engine, and uh, this is pretty much the cat's meow when it comes to leaf removal. Again, you've got a few controls up here, we'll show you guys these in just a second but you've got three different areas where your air can come out. You've got uh, left side, you've got your right side, and it can also come out of the front. And we've got baffles here that you control through an electric actuator. So those you can customize to your uh, specific application, depending on what you're doing, depending on uh, the leaf condition. You may, you may want to leave it wide open or you may need to get it down and uh, get those wet leaves up. So it's really nice having an electric controlled actuator and. Uh, setting your baffles exactly where you need them. So we'll step over here real quick and show you guys the controls on this one because I know a lot of you guys probably have not seen these. All right guys, so your control panel here is very, very simple. You've got your key, of course, uh, electric start. You've got your hour meter here. You've got your throttle, your choke. You've got an oil alert, which is really nice. If you run low on oil, that guy will light up and tell you to shut her down, add some oil. You've got your fuel here and then uh, your actuator or your control up here for your actuators so if you notice it says open to the left open to the right and open out front and then here you've got close all so if you want to open your left side all you've got to do is push this guy over like so you want to open the front you push this one here open the right you push this one here and if you want to close any or all of them you just push this guy back so it's very very easy very self-explanatory and then here you've got your safeties. So for your safeties, all you gotta do, you have no parking brake, all you have to do is push these guys in and there's no resistance, as you can see, I'm doing that with one finger, so you've got no resistance there and that is your parking brake. So you don't have to worry about setting anything or, or shutting anything off. All you gotta do is fire your machine up, push these guys down, and off you go. So for your baffle over here on the left side, this would be, uh, I think, your, your, main, your main chute here, your most powerful one, but all you gotta do is open it up here and then you've got a second flap that you can set open if you need it. So you, this one's manual, you lift it up and then you've got a pin over here. So you guys can imagine the CFM coming out of that thing with the 35 horsepower Vanguard. 
All right, guys, so that is the quick debrief here on the Z3000 blower. I wanted to take a little more time on this one and show you guys exactly what it had to offer. And over here, we've got the big boy Billy Goat leaf loader. If you're using something like that stand-on blower, you really uh, will probably have it paired with something along these lines. You really aren't moving that much leaves unless you're going somewhere with them. So a big uh, leaf back like this can definitely help you out, definitely make your life a little easier. And this is kind of the big and bad one. This is a 37 horsepower. I think that's a 14 inch hose. Um, we'll show you the spec sheet over here and give you a little bit more, a uh, little bit more information. But like I said, this is kind of the, the big and bad one. There's definitely smaller ones out there for those of you guys who aren't ready for something this large. You can go on their website, check it out. There's a lot of different models out there, but uh, this is kind of the, the cat's meow here. ladies and gentlemen so next on the chopping block are two machines that i'm really excited about of course you know i'm a ferris guy so these ones are super cool to me but you've got the fb 3000 which is the bigger unit and you've got the fb 2000 here uh they're both powered by vanguard this one is a, it's a 35 i couldn't remember if it was a 35 or a 33 horsepower this one is a 35 and this one is a 23 horsepower and real quick, uh, this one you're looking at about 12,500, somewhere in that range. This one you're looking at about 10,500, something, uh, something along those lines. So not cheap machines, but if you're into leaf removal and uh, you're, you're, you've got the properties lined up is what I'm trying to say, these are definitely worth it. Uh, they're very, very powerful machines. I think it's somewhere around 8,000 CFM, a little bit north of 8,000. And this one is a little bit north of 6,000 CFM. So you can start adding up your backpack blowers now. Uh, it's going to take you a minute. But these things are very, very powerful. They're super stable machines. Uh, I really like the design of them. First time being up close and next to them. Hopefully I'll get my hands on one coming up soon and be able to uh, actually put it to the test. But from what I see so far, they are very nice machines. And that's why I want to throw this out there for you guys before leaf season give you uh, kind of a quick rundown of what's on the market, what you have out there available. And uh, we'll come over here to these control panels. We'll show you what we got going on here. But these are your two leaf blower options now available from Ferris. So you notice here, guys, that this control panel is pretty similar to your Billy Goat. You've got your open to the left, open up, and open to the right. Close all is down here for your actuators on your uh, chute here for your air. And then you've got your choke, your throttle, your fuel, your oil alert, hour meter, and key. Very, very simple. Again, this is your parking brake. Push these guys in and off you go. So uh, as far as uh, the difficult of operating this machine, I think it's uh, probably about a one or two out of the scale of 10. Uh, if you can run any kind of lawn equipment, uh, standard, zero turn, walk behind, you can definitely run this guy. So super easy to use. I don't think there would be much time getting used to it other than uh, controlling your baffles here but all in all guys i think these are really nice units so there you have it this was the equipment that uh, we were able to get our hands on here some of the brand new equipment on the market for the leaf removal uh, process or for the leaf removal guy if you're in the market you should definitely test one of these guys out i know you can set up a demo even if it's not uh, maybe something that you're ready for right now you can maybe get your hands on one or if you're going to the GIE Expo, uh, those of you guys that go there, if you don't go to the GIE Expo, you need to look that up. I'll leave a link down here in the description. But uh, I know there'll be a lot of them there. But like I said, I just wanted to show you guys what we could get our hands on, what's available on the market. Uh, and it was really nice to be able to have that Billy Goat line up there and kind of show you guys the different steps in the leaf removal process. But like I said, uh, this is what we had available to us today. And I wanted to show you guys what is new, what is hot and what you guys can look for if you're looking to upgrade your leaf game. What do you think, Nick? Got it.
I'll see you in the next one.